was a homicide committed. There's family members, there's friends, and, and it's, it's important that we solve it as soon as we can. And if there's any input that the community get, they can provide to us, we greatly appreciate it. It's terrible, number one. Uh, number two, I, there again, the investigation is ongoing. It wouldn't surprise me if this was the result of some type of domestic violence situation. And, you know, we consider domestic violence in this community very seriously. Uh, if you talk to those people involved in the domestic violence world, they call it the cycle of violence. We try to prevent it. That's, that's the key to it, is prevention. And we try to get involved before these type of tragedies take place. But it wouldn't surprise me if this was the result of some type of domestic violence situation. There are two suspects that we're currently investigating. Chief, what about the fact that uh, two of your officers responded to a 911 call and said they saw a deer? That's correct. Uh, they received a call approximately 4.30 in the morning, give or take minutes either side of that. They responded very quickly. They were there very quickly, and they misidentified that particular body on the freeway. Uh, they identified it as a deer. They called it into uh, ODOT to come out and, and, and check it also. Is that neglect or a mistake? It's, uh, they're good officers. I had conversation with them. They're very remorseful, and I think, I believe they made a mistake, but it's currently under investigation. In fact, when I received the call at 6 o'clock in the morning, I sent the integrity control section out there to investigate. It's currently under investigation. I believe it was a mistake. I don't believe that the officers intently just drove by something. They, they mistake. They mistook it as a deer. The men and the women, the Cleveland Police Department, work very hard. Uh, sometimes they make mistakes. It's very, very unfortunate. When they do make mistakes, we address those mistakes, either internally or criminally. And if we have to adjust policy to correct those situations, we will.